guys, it's Morgan, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be talking about the movie Fantastic Beasts, The Crimes of Grindelwald. Now, if you haven't seen the movie, there will be spoilers in this video, so seriously, leave now if you don't want to be spoiled. With that said, here's my review of the movie Fantastic Beasts, The Crimes of Grindelwald. I really love Newt and Tina together, so it was really sad when she was calling him Mr. Scamander because she thought he was engaged to Lita. So I was definitely really, really happy when he finally told her that it's his brother that's engaged to Lita, not him. Before it was revealed that Queenie put a spell on Jacob so that he would want to marry her, you could tell that something was wrong because of how it was filmed when you saw things in Jacob's point of view. I really loved Queenie and Jacob together in the first movie, so it was sad that in this movie their storyline ended with Queenie joining Grindelwald because she thinks that he'll make a world where she can marry Jacob. I just really, really hope that Newt, Tina, and of course Jacob will be able to convince Queenie to leave Grindelwald in one of the future movies. I thought it was really funny when Newt and Tina went to the Paris Ministry of Magic and Newt took the Polyjuice Potion to look like Theseus, and the very first person that sees them is Theseus. I also thought it was pretty funny that Nicholas Flamel didn't reveal that he was in the house until only Jacob, who's a muggle slash nomad, was there. I also thought Jacob's reaction when you first saw Nicholas Flamel was pretty funny. I thought the relationship between Credence and Nagini was really sweet. And it was interesting to watch Nagini knowing who she is in the Harry Potter series. One thing I'm wondering is when Nagini is permanently a snake and she's with Voldemort, since Voldemort can talk to snakes, did Nagini ever tell him about Credence? I love Newt and Tina together, but I thought the flashback of Newt and Lita at Hogwarts was really cute. It was interesting to see a Lestrange that isn't evil, and it was sad that she died, but she sacrificed herself to save everyone. I also thought it was creative that when she said, I love you, it was filmed in a way that you weren't sure if she was saying it to Newt or Theseus, and she obviously loved both of them. If Credence really is Dumbledore's brother, then who was the woman traveling with him on the boat when Leda switched the babies? Because if she was Dumbledore's mother, is J.K. Rowling changing the way she died? Because in the book, Dumbledore's mother died because of his sister, Ariana, not because she drowned. Sure, Grindelwald could be lying to Credence, but then why is the phoenix there? Unless it's proven otherwise, I'm just going to assume that the woman was Credence's nanny and not his mom. Thanks for watching, guys. If you saw the movie, let me know what you thought about it in the comments. And if you want to see any of my future videos, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.